Hey guys, welcome back to high school. Normal boots fun. I thought it was... We're not in college? No. no. Oh. Did you think we were in college? I don't know. I just... Dorm rooms it's high school. and... high school. Uh, yeah, don't you watch anime? Uni no. no, that's a high school uniform. Okay, we're in high school. How's what, it going, everybody? What would Mai do in this situation? We're gonna find out. Yes, that's right. What would Mai do in this situation? Let's find out. Yes, I've yes, just moved I've here. Just moved here. Yes. My name is Hana Mizuno. I transferred from Amar Amaririsu Amaru Public High School. See, high school. So last episode, we went to class and we were scared, but JonTron showed us there, and now we're worried because PBG doesn't like us, maybe. He probably has a reason. He frowns about silly things. <laughs> I'm really excited to be here. I hope you'll all take good care of me from now on. Maybe because he couldn't ghost ride the whip really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have his license yet. <laughs> I bowed my head to the class and they clapped politely. Uh, oh, look who it is. When I looked up, PBG wasn't frowning, but he still seemed oddly confused. Maybe he was... He always looked like that. He totally Maybe did. he was always a grown <laughs> Thank you. You may be seated. I returned to my seat, heaving a small sigh. The hardest part of the day was over. Shizuka began to talk about standard procedure for the semester, the rules for the class, when homework was due, that sort of thing. Is this going to be like Persona, where we have to like remember stuff and then answer it and we'll get good grades? I doubt it. Me too. It was all very familiar to my old school, and I spaced out in spite of myself. I do that. A brief flicker of movement caught my eye. PBG, what are you doing? PBG again. <laughs> I glanced at him, and his head snapped back to the blackboard. What are you looking, looking at? at me? What are you looking at, PBG? <laughs> what was his problem? Class continued on like that until finally the bell rang, and it was time for lunch. Maybe he likes John. Maybe he's jealous that we're getting <laughs> on Sunday with yes. John. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> My stretched her arms out. My stretched her arms over her head and yawned. Sure oh, did. the yawn. Okay. Yeah, that was yawn. <laughs> Man, I hate the first day of class. Wait. Man, I hate the first day of class. It's so boring. All the time. Weren't you looking forward to it this morning? No. Something about exciting things happening? <laughs> well, yeah, but it already did. You met JonTron, didn't you? <laughs> now I've got nothing left to look forward to. Mm. Poor She thing. sighed. I was hoping to see Jared before class two. She slouched and fell across the front of my desk. It seems like this would be happening a lot. <laughs> Is Jared really that hot? Oh, what's she gonna say to that? My head snapped back up, her <laughs> eyes flashing. Yeah. What did you just say? <laughs> I, uh... If you stare directly at him too long, your nose will melt off. I've seen it happen. I've seen that happen too, all the time. What? Anyway, let's go for lunch. I'm super hungry. Oh. Man, you're weird, Mai. <laughs> she sure She's is. weird. I looked at my backpack. It held up well throughout the class, but I was worried that if I didn't take some of my stuff out now, oh, I no. might do some permanent damage to it. Oh, no. Especially with Satch's book in there. Why did we do it? Why Maybe did we, we take Maybe we have the option Satch's to book? not take out Satch's book. I couldn't exactly afford a new backpack. I need to put something in my locker first. But if we don't go now, they'll run out of sesame seed buns. Oh. Oh, God. That's okay. I'll just go on ahead. Come find me, okay? All right. Oh, so maybe because of this, we're getting a different path because we're not going straight to the lunch place with her. Maybe. Hmm. Mm. I was so lucky to have someone like her as my roommate. Sure were. Quick as I could, I went to my locker and shoved the book inside. Oh, let's quickly save. Well, I guess it's safe in the locker. That's true, I right? just, I'm just worried. <laughs> yeah, it's like shit. As good a book as it was, I was infinitely happier that I had Mai around so I didn't have to read it. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that kind of Without confused her, me for a sec, but I get who it. Who knew what I would do with myself, especially with PBG staring at me like that. Yeah, what's up with you, PBG? <laughs> Calling you out, that's weird, dude. <laughs> Maybe I could ask her what was up with him when I met her at the cafeteria. That was a question. <laughs> <laughs> it might just be the way that he was. Cheered, I headed for the cafeteria. Here we go. Somebody gonna appear in front of me? Nope. I carried my melon bread through the minefield of Peter's people. People. <laughs> people. <laughs> Searching for the now familiar sight of Mai's red hair. Look at all these people. Where is she? 
I couldn't see her anywhere, and there were almost no empty seats. All around me, students circled each other, laughing and joking, sharing bites of food, and splitting the cost, cost of sodas. Suddenly, I felt very obvious and very alone. Isn't there anywhere I can sit? It's lots of seats. Look at them all. Just mm -hmm. sit in the corner somewhere on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Just then, I spotted a table at the front of the room. Oh, ah! is that brutal moose I see? <laughs> That's my man right there. A low voice at it, stabbing a spaghetti with the vigor <laughs> of a Roman general. Oh, I wish I He was I having could. a hard time with it. I wish I could marry this man. Me too. <laughs> I moved closer to him, working up the courage to ask to sit with him. Well, no wonder. He was eating his spaghetti with a spoon. <laughs> You're amazing. Wait a second. This guy was in my class, wasn't he? I saw him that morning at the front of the room. And he was wearing a jacket just like the normal boots but different. It's hidden block. Oh my god. A golden gray jacket with an 8-bit block on the front. Unfortunately, the hidden block guys aren't dateable in this game. As far as I know, yeah. Was he a member of another club? Or maybe he was friends with them? Hey. Hey, what? Hannah. Hannah! <laughs> oh, my. My appeared between me and the boy, who glanced up at us before returning to his spaghetti. <laughs> oh my god, spaghetti. I love him already. <laughs> Thank goodness I found you. I saved your table for you in the back. Oh. I looked at the boy and then back and by. I need to help this man. <laughs> <laughs> He's having Come a little on. problem. Man, I'm making her sound like a bitch. She's not. <laughs> She's just silly. She grabbed my shoulder rather forcefully and pushed me to the back of the room. Hey, what's wrong? You are so lucky I got you here when I did. That kid is Brutal Moose. His real name's Ian. He's from the Hidden Block Club. The Hidden Block Club? <laughs> yeah, the rival club of normal boots. It's really <laughs> weird. I mean... She looked around her to make sure nobody was listening in. But we were completely alone in our little corner of the cafeteria. He speaks in comic sans. What?! <laughs> What the fuck does that mean? So he's this isn't Undertale. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. What the fuck is... I'm yeah, he... It'd be better if you stay away from him, especially since you've already gotten to know some of the normal boots guys. Hmm. He speaks... What are you talking about? I only just met John today. Uh-huh. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right. I saw the way PBG was staring at you. It totally likes oh, you. Oh, Fibiji likes us. I don't see. think that's the case. <laughs> really? Really? I mean, really? <laughs> Is that what you thought it was? Either Mai was blind or she had a serious case of wishful thinking. Oh, totally. It was so cute. Just like my favorite manga. You meet uh, in high school, fall in love, and then you go off and fight aliens together. That's going to happen. I guess a PBG is possible. Yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. You're wrong. <laughs> Have some faith in yourself. That's totally what's going to happen. <laughs> All right, why? Um. So, now that you're in good with PBG, can you introduce me to Jared? Yep. Are you trying to use me? Yep. Oh, was that what she was getting at? A hot flash of don't seize me. Was it possible that Mai only liked me because she thought I knew the normal boots guys? She's going to be very upset if we go after Jared. That couldn't be the case, though. She was so nice. Still, looking at her, her shining and eager face, I couldn't talk myself uh, out of the idea. We should sh set her up with Ian. I want to be set up with Ian! We can't. It's not possible. I actually thought PBG didn't like me. What? What? <laughs> what are you saying, girl? <laughs> Why would you think that? <laughs> <laughs> he was glaring at me. Man, you just don't understand. It's a love triangle. A love triangle. <laughs> what? Love? A triangle now? What? I can see it. I can see triangle with who? I can see triangles. Stars practically <laughs> erupted from her eyes. What? Baby J, I I can't. <laughs> What's uh, happening? Hannah, I love you. What the hell is happening? But I think she's playing something out. Mm -hmm. My maiden. <laughs> Where are you going with this? I slid my fork onto the table. Maya looked pleased with herself. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm just kidding. You're really cute when you blush. You almost match your hair. Th that's not fair at all. This is the master of blushing over here. 
I beg to differ. <laughs> Still. Still. I search my mind, eager to change the subject. You have a picture of a uh, plant over there. That was an impressive scenario. What? Wh what? No, it wasn't. I just made it up on the spot. Maya laughed nervously. She liked to make fanfics. <laughs> oh, so that girl who was talking to me when we got separated? Uh, Mai told the story of her past friendship with this girl like they were eternal arch nemesis. Oh, no. Nemesis. Apparently they had some bad blood. I nodded, choosing to take the time to relax. Before I knew it, we were finished eating. We got up and tossed our trays together. As I headed towards the door, though, Mai hesitated. Um. Hey, I forgot something back at the dorm. Oh, need help? No, no, I'm totally okay. I'm just going to get it. I'll see you later, though, right? What are you doing, Mai? See you later. Okay, see you in class. You're sneaking around without me. I waved, and Mai sprinted off in the direction of the dorms. Alone again, I crossed my arms and headed back to Poppy Hall. He wanted to say Poppy Hill. <laughs> going to Poppy Hill. <laughs> Large groups of seven or eight people were laying out in the sun, playing catch and eating lunch on the lawn. All of those things at the same time. Of course, why not? <laughs> They're just like, eating and throwing. Yeah. Like, Hold on! <laughs> While laying down. It looked like fun to have so many friends like that. I smiled. Maybe this new school really would be better than the last. I hope so. Without students inside of it, Poppy Hall looked a bit like an abandoned hospital. That's when the zombies came. Ah! <laughs> My footsteps echoed as I climbed the stairs to the fourth floor. Then your brains were eaten. Bad end. With a sigh, I opened my locker and pulled out the book Satch gave me. Yeah, See, we it was got safe. A book. It was okay. We got a book. It was a good thing I brought it, after all. See, now we got something to read. Yay, book time! I stepped into the classroom and saw a flash of movement by the window. Who's in here? <gasps> a boy sat on the windowsill, and he jerked up when I came in. Who? Oh, it's Shane. Oh, no. <laughs> he was silhouetted by the afternoon sunshine, so I couldn't quite tell who he was. Um, um hello. I'm sorry. Did I bother you? <laughs> The boy stood and shook his head, then crossed to a desk on the opposite side of the room. As he passed, I was able to see him clearly. Oh, it's Another Shane. normal boots jacket? What Jesus Christ! I had, like, everywhere. the best luck ever, considering, like, nobody else talks to these <laughs> yeah, people. Yeah, really? <laughs> this guy, he was Shane from the Normal Boots Club. How on earth did this keep happening to me? Maybe the Normal Boots people have a pact to only talk like, to people okay. with pink hair or something. They're like, okay, I'm going to be in this room and she's going to come up here. I'm going to go. <laughs> we got this planned out. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. I'll meet her in the cafeteria. <laughs> Ian, get out of here. <laughs> Stop forking that or spooning that spaghetti. <laughs> Don't spoon the spaghetti. <laughs> Shane sat down at his desk, fidgeting with his hands a little, then turned to look at me. You're the new girl? I nodded. My name is Hannah. It's nice to meet you. He nodded. Yeah, totally. Mm. Shane. You shy, Shane? Silence filled the space between us. Panic built up inside me. This was my chance to get in with the Normal Boots Club, and I was blowing it! You're blowing it! You're totally blowing it <laughs> right now! Let me just read your book. You're gonna blow it. I walked to my desk and sat down, setting the book on top of it. You, um... Why are you trying to talk to him if you don't want to talk? Hmm? Shane looked at me, unsmiling. You're part of the Normal Boots Club? No, genius. Yes, I am. Why? No reason. <laughs> <laughs> he spoke as if he were challenging, almost glaring at me, as if it were a challenge. <laughs> oh, I I just saw your jacket, so I trailed off. The jackets are really cool. <laughs> you got a really nice jacket. It's cool. I like okay. your jacket. Yes, <laughs> they are. <laughs> wow, you're very standoffish. <laughs> Silence again. He seemed skeptical, as if he expected me to crawl out of my skin and reveal myself as a large amphibious reptile. That's going to happen. Amphibious reptile. That's <laughs> two different things. Oh, yeah, it is. I had to do something. <laughs> Who knew when another chance like this would come? It's like, stop trying so hard. That's a thing. But Shane didn't seem friendly. In fact, he seemed downright suspicious. What are you doing? What do you got in that pocket, Shane? Maybe somebody... Hamsters? Who hurt you? He's got, he's got hamsters in there. Surely he wasn't on to me already. Onto you? What are you doing? That you should be yeah, onto. Yeah, what what happened there? <laughs> Maybe it was better not to risk it. What are we onto? I'm. Okay. Oh God, should we give him? We should, space? I think we should give him space. He seems like the kind yeah. of dude who would want some space. Yeah, I don't think he wants to be pushed. I chewed my lip and opened my book, finding the page I ended on the night before. 
Yeah, I don't. I think he. I don't think we want to be too clingy to Shane. No, he seems he seems to want some space, so yeah. we shouldn't bug him. I agree. Shane's stare still stung, hot on the side of my face. I like that sentence for some reason. Hot on the side <laughs> of my face. Shane's stare still stung, hot on the side of Shane's my face. Shane's stare still stung. Has a good beat dot, to dot, it. Dot. He wasn't looking away. I stared at the page of my book, rereading the same sentence without gas grasping any of what it said. Why are you guys so? Always looking at me. Finally, a small group of girls entered the classroom and Shane looked away. Yeah, that's right, Shane. Screw off. Freaking the atmosphere me out. was broken. I heaved a sigh of relief. What was up with these normal boots guys? They're hey, up. some of them are nice, man. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> John was really nice when I spoke to him, but PBG and Shane seemed to hate me. They were anything but normal. <laughs> I waited for Maya to come to class, waiting desperately to tell her what happened. And they certainly didn't wear boots. But when the bell rang and Miss Shizuka started teaching, Mai still hadn't come. Where the hell are you, Mai? What, you, what are you doing? Yeah. Maybe she's a drug dealer. Class came and went, the bell rang, and I was alone. PBG stared at me for the entirety of the class period, his face growing more and more menacing by the minute. <laughs> These normal goots, guys, man. Just always like, staring at people. Maybe Shane just think, gets people want to get in with him because he's normal boots Probably. and he's like, mm. yeah. I'm like, that's that's not cool, man. So that's why we gave him space. Hopefully yeah. he appreciates that. I think he will. How his face wasn't stuck in a permafrown, I would never know. <laughs> Shane and John didn't bother talking to me as they left the classroom, and the other students paired up around me. Hey, Mimi, would you like to engage in uh, casual discourse this evening? What? The hell kind of, what kind of sentence, sentence is that, is that? Kakasu? Yeah, of course. But why are you talking like that? I think I'm Mimi. Oh wait, but why are you talking? But why are you talking like that? I think they're trying to be jerks to me. Probably. I stuffed my book into my backpack and headed to the dorm. With a sigh, I unlocked the door to my dorm room. You in here, Mai? As soon as the door opened, I heard. Hannah! Hannah! That's what, what I heard. What? What? Mai and I lay in a heap on the floor. Hot. She tackled me again. <laughs> I'm so glad you're back! She wrapped her hands around my head and nuzzled me. And then I leveled up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Why weren't you in class? Come on, look, look! She got off me and helped me to my feet. Hot. Without Mai's face filling my vision, I saw that something had changed. What changed? I'm looking. Took her clothes off. Oh my goodness! The dorm room looked nothing like what it had before. Oh, did she paint the walls pink? No, were they always pink? I, I don't, don't think they were. I don't know. We'll see what, we'll see what she says. <laughs> the posters of fairy lights were still up, but yeah. now the window had light pink curtains on it that cast a warm haze around the room. The curtain. Oh, the curtain. The curtain. A brand new white carpet was on the floor. Pillows were lined high in a mountain on the top bunk Let's see the carpet. of the bunk bed. This carpet you speak She's got lots of pillows and stuff. Even our chairs have been replaced with new, cushy leather ones. I don't see no leather chairs. I got, I don't know, there's a cushion, I don't know. <laughs> oh wait, there, there's, a, there's a chair over oh, there. Oh, there's a chair. What happened here? <laughs> he, sorry I didn't tell you, but I wanted to surprise you. I thought this would come in yesterday, but it was delayed by a day. I wanted to set it up to be a big surprise. Still not done yet, though. You got, oh, you got left. We she gestured to a small potted plant arranged in neat rows on her desk. <gasps> plants. Wanna help? Yes. Yeah. Do I ever? Absolutely. I love plants. Plants are great. Plants, plants, plants. I, I love, love plants. plants. Plants, plants, plants. We finished setting up the room, switching a few objects here and there in order to better facilitate the feng shui, which to my told Animal Crossing. me was excruciatingly important. <laughs> She's right. You can get better stuff in Animal Crossing. So you yeah. especially wanted to make sure our room was filled with red and pinks and coupled items. Though, for what purpose, I wasn't sure. Oh, she's trying to, like, get a love spirit or something oh. like that. We collapsed with heavy sighs on the floor, then heaved great big yawns. Hot. It's not even the end of the day yet, and I'm so tired. Me too. I've got a flight. Wait! She shot up suddenly with a jolt. We should get some ice cream. <gasps> ice cream. Ice cream. I love ice cream. Ice cream, really? Ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, something to celebrate being roommates. The ice cream here on the campus is genuinely good, I promise. Genuinely good I ice cream. I don't know. You do know. What's wrong with ice 
ice cream. <gasps> I'm paying. Sold. <laughs> well, if that's the case, she made an offer I can't refuse. I don't like paying for things. Sweet. Let's go. Ice cream is sweet, too. This is sweet. I mean, this is sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This game's really sweet. The school shop was in a side building off the cafeteria, packed with instant noodles and giant bottles of soda. Students swarmed the aisles aimlessly, clearly here f more to spend time than money. My paid the cashier. We grabbed our ice cream cones. Mine with the one covered in sprinkles. <gasps> Whoa, this is delicious! Oh, nom, nom, yeah. nom. <laughs> Isn't it? We're lucky to have such a good food on campus. This place would be awful if we did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm making her weird. She must I shouldn't voice her anymore. I like it, though. I nodded and was about to respond when I noticed a commotion outside. Oh, no, a commotion. Fight, fight, fight. Oh, let's see what's going on. He's eating with a spoon again. He's spooning everybody! <laughs> <laughs> my grab my arm and drag I'm me outside. I'm not spaghetti! Oh, I feel bad for Ian. I want to hang out with him. I know. He's just alone spooning his spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> there, three boys wearing Norman Boots jackets were shouting at each other. Each <gasps> of their oh, no. faces turning purple. Oh no, they're oh, dying! This again? Continue, guys. What? What are you talking about? Yep. <laughs> Oh no, they're yelling at each other, Max. Yeah. Well, I figured. I'm clearly the one who possesses the proper masculine form. Yeah, right. I'm taller than you. I'm more attractive to boot. Come on, guys. Can you not see these muscles? <laughs> Look at him. Nick pulled back the sleeve of his jacket and flexed his arm. These guys always go on about weird stuff like this. They're very eccentric. Or energetic. Or energetic, they're both. <laughs> they're both. Oh, yeah. Josh got into a downward facing dog pose and grinned. Look at this butt. Just look at this. What I don't understand is why they don't just ask Jared. <laughs> oh, yeah. Paul dealed low to the ground, <laughs> then took off at a sprint, heading straight for us. Yeah. Check this out. He sprang into the air into a graceful ballerina's leap, spinning through the sky, and finally came straight for me. Oh my. Ow. Paw. <laughs> when I opened my eyes, I was sprawled flat on the ground, covered in dirt. Something cold and wet oozed into the top of my blouse. Paw. My ice cream! <laughs> oh no. <gasps> Hannah, are you okay? Not the ice cream. I sat up, chunks of ice cream fell from my blouse to my skirt. Pal, you're, pal, you're on my, my shit list now. Cream. Ah, uh, what happened? Uh, you ran into someone, you idiot. My uniform is ruined. <laughs> For a few seconds, silence. Then Snickers rippled around me like the whining of cicadas. My throat closed up, water stinging my eyes. No! Not <laughs> this again! No! <laughs> <laughs> I stood up, prepared to walk away with my dignity, when the entirety of the Normal Boots Club suddenly appeared in front of my oh, face. Oh lordy. What? Oh lordy. What's up? What happened here? Seri seriously? Uh, seriously. <laughs> Tears slid down my face. No, not here. I don't want to cry in front of them. Hey. Hannah, are you alright? Run! <laughs> I'm going home. Hannah. Wait, Hannah? It's fine. I just want to be alone for now. <laughs> it took all of my will not to turn back to the dorm. To run back to the dorm? Not to I ran back to the dorm. That's what I did. Oh. I immediately changed into my pajamas and climbed into bed, reaching for my stuffed rabbit. Thank God for that rabbit. What am I going to do if this ends up just like last time? Oh, my ice cream is gone. <laughs> Mr. Bunny. Mr. Bunny stared at me with his big life size. <laughs> I squished it to my chest, losing myself in a soft fur. Mmm, bunny. The door opened with a soft click. Hannah, uh, are you okay? I rolled over in bed to face the wall, pretending to be asleep. Mai stood in the center of the room for a while, looking at me. Finally, she sat down at her desk and began to work on something. The sound of her pencil scratching against the paper stilled my mind. I don't know how many hours passed, but eventually I fell asleep. Poor Hannah. Aw, well, it was Poor an accident, us. but it's, yeah, it's still embarrassing. <laughs> I woke up to my alarm beeping, feeling only dread of hours to come. 
After the nightmare that was the ice cream incident yesterday, I never wanted to see ice cream again. <laughs> and it will forever be known as the ice cream incident. <laughs> the ice cream incident. <laughs> I curled up inside my, well, my blankets as my alarm went off. It was only the second day of school and I felt the same as I did every morning at home. Maya, of course, was already up, and I could hear her hair straightener clapping shut every few seconds from across the room. I felt bad about letting the alarm go off for so long, so I slid my hand out of the covers to switch it off. Hannah? Hannah! Get up, sleepyhead! I know you're awake! Next on Game Face? We'll be awake? We're gonna get up, sleepyhead. Because... <gasps> That ice cream incident just took a lot out of me. Yeah, I but PBG to... looked concerned. He did, that's good. <gasps> I like PBG. PBG likes Oscars! Ah! We're gonna give him Everybody. ice cream. <laughs> Paul gonna... didn't even apologize. He's gonna make us be able to love ice cream again. <laughs> <laughs> make me love ice cream again, PBG. Yeah, I don't know about that Paul guy. He just does not seem like a nice fellow. I just grabbed your drink for some reason, I'm so sorry. Anyway. That's another episode of Asagao Academy, everybody. I hope you're enjoying it. Let us know what you think of these new characters we met today, who we should be trying to put in the bed with us as we kiss their foreheads. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. It'll be Mr. Bunny. Mr. Bunny, I love you.